Galway's Megan Glynn is challenged by Neve Caravdonigal. Image, Matt Brown, S-P-O-R-T-S-F-I-L-E Galway's Megan Glynn is challenged by Neve Caravdonigal. Image, Matt Brown, S-P-O-R-T-S-F-I-L-E Galway 1-12 Donegal 1-5 Kevin Egan reports from Glenn and Brothers Pierce Park Galway's outstanding form this spring continued as they burst out of the blocks against Donegal and easily secured their place in the Lita Ladies NFL Division 1 final, their first time to reach that decider since 2015. The tribe's women enjoyed a nine-point win when the two sides met in the round-robin stages but the very youthful age profile of this Donegal team suggested that they would benefit from that game in Corfin a fortnight ago. Instead Galway picked up where they left off, firing over three points in the first two minutes while playing some superb attacking football. Louise Ward won the throw in and sprinted through to fire over the opening score after 10 seconds and when Roison Leonard and Murray COI added points from the next two attacks, it looked as if Galway were capable of racking up a big score. Galway's Roison Leonard is tackled by Nicole McLaughlin of Donegal. Source, Matt Brown, S-P-O-R-T-S-F-I-L-E Donegal's first visit inside the Galway 20 meters line didn't arrive until the 7th minute but they made it count. Neve Hegarty played in Geraldine McLaughlin, who arrived a split second earlier than Galway keeper Lisa Murphy and was bundled over by the Kilcarran Clonbrun player. Hegarty slotted home the penalty to tie the teams up, but Galway's rhythm was unbroken and they quickly took control of the tie again, with Cousins Rowison and Tracy Leonard on the mark with scores. Five wides were the only blemish on a scintillating Galway first half that featured some wonderful kick passing and tireless support play, all in the unseasonal midday sun. Galway led 0-9 to 1-1 to to at halftime, and the sides added a point each through Amy Boyle, Karen Rowis and Leonard before Galway effectively settled the tie with a well-worked team goal in the 35 minute. Megan Glynn and Murray's COI combined down the left wing and Glynn's electric burst of pace sent her clean through on goal. She drew Ethan McColgan out before hand-passing the ball across to Sarah Connolly. Connolly palmed the ball towards goal, with Glint getting the final touch before it crossed the line. Donegal continued to apply themselves wholeheartedly and they enjoyed a brief spell of dominance when Neve Hegarty, Geraldine McLaughlin and Karen Guthrie all pointed, but his succession of missed frees proved costly and ensured that Galway always had at least two goals to spare. Scores for Galway, T. Leonard 0-5, 0-4, F. R. Leonard 0-4, M. Glynn 1-0, L. Ward B. Hannon. Scores for Donegal, and Hegarty 1-1, 1-0, Penn, 1 F. K. Heron, A. B. Carr, G. McLaughlin. Galway L. Murphy S. Burks Lynch Smaloy O. Murphy F. Cooney Cooney B. Hannon L. Ward O. DeVille Leonard M. Glynn M. C. O. Wire Leonard's Connolly subs. L. Cohen for Connolly, 47, R. Neef Latharda for Glynn, 59, M. Coyne for C. Cooney, 59, L. No. 1 for COI, 61, Donegal M. Colgan and McLaughlin Gallagher M. McGinley and Karen McLean Boyle K. Haram Ryan E. Melg McLaughlin's McRadia Boyle Carr Guthrie Hegarty Subs. K. McLenahan for McGinley, H.T. Referee, Brendan Rice, down, subscribe to our new podcast, The 42 Rugby Weekly, here, let's block ads. Why?